So I've been working on a little mini-series of concepts in two to three minutes to demonstrate to people in political marketplaces how to handle information either impromptu like me, where I'm ad-libbing and literally going off my history and my information, my storytelling abilities, versus what most people do, which is technically scripting so that their storyline comes for cir full circle or it follows a triangular journalistic principle. But those of you who don't understand that thing, please go off and get a journalism degree, and then you might get this. But what I am talking about is copywritten work, and what I do want to address immediately, because I'm a person, an incredibly strong and devout person of faith, and faith uh, practices of allowing the Lord Most High to authorize me to access my angels around you and me in order to live a better, healthier, more moral life, I'm going to say to you, if you are borrowing someone's, and better yet, the word is truthfully stealing someone's copywritten word or copywritten imagery or the words and the things that they use for advertising their business, you are absolutely committing an abomination to the Lord's house. And I want to be really clear about this because God made you a unique you. And your problem seems to be that you have not discovered within yourself and the people around your life have not helped you to find who you really are. And as a result, you're thinking you have nothing that you can create on your own, and you know that's not true. You had to produce it sometime in your education for your life and reports and other things like everybody else had to suffer through in those situations and trainings for our moral and productive future business life. But what I can say to you is that abomination to the Lord is your attitude is wrong. Your attitude says, I can take anything I like and use it and sell it and destroy it and vandalize it, and it doesn't matter to anybody but me. And that's not true. The absolute truth is I am ready to shoot and kill the person that is destroying my computer and intellectual property. And I am absolutely beyond offended that police officers thought they had the right to take my T drives and take them out of my vehicle and take them off and review them and do things to them. And I absolutely pissed off that when I left jail, I did not get back any of my property in the two property bags that I went there suffering through that situation and submitting because it was a requirement of me. And openly, I'm angry enough to kill them. And I totally believe in the abomination and obliteration of the police forces across America. And I feel that they most absolutely should be replaced by our actual military who so fucking know, and if they don't, we've failed ourselves, what the laws are of international treaties with regard to human rights, and property rights and medical rights and technology rights are as well as the US Constitution and our federal laws that protects you and me not some stupid ass motherfuck backwoods sheriff's attitude or opinion about you or me